Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today in this video, I wanted to go ahead and bring you guys some updates to my atlas. So that would conclude or include things like the new maps that I'm running, uh, some maps that I've removed, and kind of just like a little bit of my league progress. So just to talk about it really quick, I have removed Abyss off of my atlas. Uh, the reason why is I felt it wasn't really very good for XP. Uh, it is pretty RNG, but it's great for making money because, you know, acquiring the Divination card for a Combs Heart is worth like 50 plus Chaos, and getting a Steel Ring is like 50 plus Chaos, so that's very good, but I didn't really feel like I needed more Chaos, I wanted to get some more XP. So I thought to myself, what's a good tier 14 slash 15 map that I can shape and or run? And at first I was thinking Courtyard, and I think Courtyard would be a very solid choice, but before I matched Courtyard, I wanted to try another map. Um, so I decided to go after Springs instead. Now Springs is a very big open layout. Um, it's it's pretty it's very open, which is great for breaching. That's kind of the one thing that sucked about Abyss is that it's not very good for breaches because of the way it works. And I'll actually show you this map here in a little bit. I've also decided to shape Ashenwood. I don't know if I covered this in a previous video. The reason why I shaped Ashenwood is because I feel that whereas Race Course does give me more returns and more gold, like more currency drops because of the, the triple bosses. I've noticed that Ashenwood has quite a bit more density, maybe even like 20 to 30% more monsters in it, and I just really definitely favored this for some XP per hour compared to Race Course. I still have Bog. Bog is like my fallback that I run whenever I'm just chilling, uh, and that's pretty much sitting right there. I can show you guys that over here. This would be my Race Course pool that I'm selling, my Bogs, my Springs. Uh, these are the excess flow of Overgrown Ruins, and then I've been doing Beachhead Rotations, which I'll make a separate video on. But anyway, in terms of XP, I'm just going to show you guys how I've been rolling them. So I've got uh, right here a Beyond map, which I've been Beyonding pretty much every single map. It does get a bit expensive, uh, and I am breaching it as well, so I'm paying close to sometimes maybe like, I don't know, 15 Chaos a map. But, uh, and that's without Sextons, and that's purely RNG depending on how many alts it takes to roll. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this map going. Now, the map boss is basically Oak, but he summons, like, a lot of Ancestral Warchief totems, which doesn't do anything for RF, because you kill the totems before they do anything. <laughs> now, inside here, I believe you can get the Divination card uh, right here. Actually, I know you can. The Emperor of Purity. I know that because I made a YouTube video five minutes ago, but forgot to hit the Start Recording button, uh, and that dropped, so... Do we got any breaches anywhere here? I know I put two on. Now, some people have been asking me why I haven't really been doing much with Sextants this league, because in Breach League, I basically double beyonded, uh, and then six to seven or eight property Sextanted my shores, uh, and ran them all the way to 100. The reason why I haven't done that this go around is, one, Sextants can be a bit expensive, but that's more of like an excuse because, uh, they're pretty cheap right now for the yellow ones compared to what they normally are. Mainly, I just want to try some different strategies. I don't like doing the exact same thing every time I level a character. I think it gets a bit stale if you do that personally. Uh, and I've just overall been generating quite a bit of currency doing this, opposed to forcing myself to run sextants. And then it just gets naturally more rippy the more things you apply onto your, onto your maps. Oh, this is a pretty feels bad man breach. There's like, oh, here we go. This is okay. We got PJ Boom Boom coming up in uh, 15 kills. PJ Boom Boom in the house, boys! Alright, nice. Oh, I even have a Zana there. Cool. I think this is a good breach spot. This is like right in the middle. And it's a Zoff breach right in the middle. So the XP per hour in here, I'm averaging about anywhere from 15.5 to 17 mil. Um, I think I've had up to like 18, 19 mil, but I think that's 
more based on like just RNG of like density. When I do beach head rotations, I get about 23 to 24 mil with it. Well, not 24, probably capping out at like 23.5 with a good group uh, of people that are not just slacking. Oh, there's Emperor of Purity. There you go. So if you guys wanted a comparison to beachheads. However, I do make a lot more currency running these, whereas I don't really make much currency running beachheads. Although rolling beyond on my maps, I don't always profit. Just rolling regular breach, I typically always profit. Azana, do you want to give me an Untainted Paradise, please? Promenade? I don't know how I feel about Promenade these days. Maybe here? No? Okay, then right up here. Nope. Alright, I'm pretty much good to go then. Nice. So that's pretty much what we've been running, although it's usually a bit more hectic. That was a pretty tamed map, to be honest. And then, as well, this has nothing to do with my shaped atlas, but I've been doing quite a few beachhead rotations since I've got, I mean, I've got like... I don't know, quite a bit, like almost 30, maybe more than 30. I don't know how many are in here. 24, I think like almost 30. So um, each beachhead map is equivalent to like 0.9%, I think right now. Uh, it's like 0.75 at level 99. Uh, so this is quite a bit of XP, assuming you do them in a rotation. So one of them actually equals six. And I'll explain rotations for the newer players uh, in a future video, most likely going over master rotations as well. Anyway, that's pretty much about it uh, for now. Hope you guys enjoyed yourself. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. If you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.